confession. I need everybody who hasn't watched it yet, including you two guys, you have to tonight watch the uh, hatchet wielding hitchhiker. Oh. My friend, did you see my friend who you've met, Lisa Sam? I know Mike Young was Mike Young oh. said it was his friend. What yeah, is it? What, uh, is it a TV show? My it's, high school friend, Mike it's Young. Kai, Jesus Kai, the uh, hatchet wielding hitchhiker, and it's about a guy that like he went viral for like giving like a cool like yeah man I just you know jumped on was defending this girl and I pulled out my hatchet and wham wham like so he went so it's viral just something to see on YouTube. No, he went no, viral. It's he a went, Netflix doc. He went viral oh. for his news clip, and then it turned out that he was like a fucking sicko that killed a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> you're, well, you're, much. you're kind of changing the story did, a little did you bit. See the guy, there's a guy in I'm a black, my own story. black Tesla driving around California with like a crowbar. He's, he's got total ro- road rage. I mean, I saw smashing. one incident. He's multiple. No, there, there was like. There's like 10, 15 incidents with this guy. Jesus Christ. And now is I, he is he active? He's making us look bad with our Tesla. Is he active? <laughs> I think I don't think they, they caught catch him. him. I don't think they caught him yet. They got pictures of him. Did you see the other guy in the Tesla? Dropped 250 guy. feet off a cliff. And survived his whole family, right? Yeah, he did it on purpose. Yeah. He, yeah. To I test think the they airbags. got him. But how the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's something about Tesla, okay? man. Dylan you loved, do you got, oh. I love my Tesla. Wait, I forgot. I was about to say, do you have stock in this company? You do, do have, have stock. stock. So how Tesla. was your day But he today? does love it's his up, Tesla anyway. It's up over nine points today. So, uh, so you buying dinner? Today, you so. buying dinner or what? Are you kidding? You know how far down I am? Are you kidding? I am Queens Boulevard. I bought Tesla at a dollar. It was a... Hundred ninety dollars now. It's like a one twenty or something. It'll go. It's a good. It's it'll, a good it'll be stock. Back. It's an it's, underrated. It's, it's, let me ask you a serious a question, car, Kevin Dillon. Just, yeah. Kevin Dillon. This, I'm not even joking. You can make a hundred million dollars trading stocks from your bedroom and your underwear, or you can get on a heavy, heavy drama. You can make a hundred million dollars ten years. Of six six day a week, mostly night shoots. <laughs> I mean, it's oh ridiculous. shit! You're ruining it. By the way, it's, you I'm had him. You had him on the hook in. for a half a I second. You're winning, you're winning Emmys. You're winning Emmys. What would you rather do? I'm Dude, dead serious. Ha- no, there you I'm go. Not go. I'm not doing anything six days a week, all night <laughs> shoots. There's Yo, just no way. No, no, I'm here in my underwear, bro. Hundred hundred million. That's you might be. As a matter of fact, I'm not even wearing underwear. I'm going. I'm raw dogging it. Ew! You're raw dogging it right now. I'm sure under those jeans. Oh yeah. Sheath sheath underwear. So dog Tell him. So it's. 100 million to trade in your underwear wherever you want. I'm taking or, that. Or, no, or 100 million to be on a show and, you know, not that crazy hours, but you know, it is our procedural, so big hours and, and an Emmy in there. And an Emmy You're the in star, the, though. Know. You're in every scene. Yes, it's, it's you are Magnum P.I. <sighs> oh, wow. I'm, and with an I, Emmy. I'm doing the underwear thing, bro. <laughs> You're doing the underwear guess, thing. The yeah, Emmy's not I important. Mean, you get at up all. at 6 a.m., you're, you're done by <laughs> noon, right? And then you're golfing all Same day. amount of money. Same amount and of maybe money. Maybe you could do a, a couple school plays. <laughs> Connolly, <laughs> what's your answer? If it were a best actor Emmy, I would probably take the best actor Emmy. So I'm just, I'm being very serious. This isn't If I was guaranteed, like, it's like, yo, do I don't a give five a year, shit about do awards, a five year run on all right, this so show. So forget the awards. awards. Are stupid, this is man. a serious they're question. Unwatchable and they're this all is like- a serious question. It's not awards. I'm saying, do you still have the passion to go? I want to do the best work of my life. Yes. We don't. No, but it'll be I still seven love it, years. But of- awards don't mean shit. All really, right. So the don't. best work of your life, but grinding every day. You were going to make the best work of his life he would do. I don't like grinding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, like, the first the first season of Entourage was tough, man. I don't that was like a girl. tough, tough season. The last season of Entourage was a breeze. We got so... We got so locked in, it became so easy. And do you know that they, what they did, they edited an extra day and a half. Think about what that, what that did to our schedules. Yeah. By the end, they were seven, seven and a half day, maybe sometimes even eight day episodes. That's the world yeah. of difference between six and a but half. But the real difference, what we were doing. I, I bet Season Doug one would was five days. Too. The real difference is we found out who our characters were in that first season, and we were kind of pulling it together. And you were helping with that, and it, it took you, a were help, you helped a little bit. <laughs> he helped a lot, man, and it took a lot of yeah. time to figure that shit yeah. out. But. No, it was no, it was no easier for me. I mean, honestly, five day episodes. Like, if you asked me, there's not even a debate. As much as I, like, if the scripts were all done and you told me how to be on set nine, ten hours a day, every day, that I'm in for because I love it. If I have to write every day. The writer's room you don't love. Not the, the, the computer turning on, the whole, ugh. I, I but also, staring you know, into a computer. Yeah. Obviously, Entourage was a unique experience, but assuming this new show, Kev, was 
not that it's not quality, but it's a little more by the numbers, right? So it's yeah. a Chicago whatever, Chicago fire, fire department, a, right? Whatever it is. So it's a true procedural where it could, could can be we, long can hours. Can we take it out of Chicago, make it New York or can LA? Make it New York, right. Sign exactly. on and really exactly. freeze my ass. But I was giving him too. another thing. I was saying like it's your Tony Soprano role that for the next thousand he years, would one million percent do that. But you are gonna work. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, you're telling me you wouldn't take the Tony Soprano role and have to fucking grind your balls off to the ground? Eight to years. Fucking, I don't know if that's such a grind. I don't show like that. I'm telling you it would be, whether it was for him. I know, be. you're saying that's, yeah, for, that's for the what scenario. We're, for See, what that's we're talking problem, about. You're making it really hard yeah. with the uh, night scenes. Yeah, right I'm over. saying it, it would be it. like if Leo had to shoot the Revenant for eight years. <laughs> I, I, I love acting, and, and I love acting, and I don't really care about the fame. I really don't. I don't care about Right, awards. you want to do good work. Yeah, I want to do great work. You don't work. care about awards I'd unless rather, you're on it. If you just give me the money, I'll take the money. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But you're not. you got to answer the question. It, Tony I Soprano. Did. I'm let's taking just, the money in my underwear. Yeah, he and did. Then I'm, Over Tony and then Soprano? I'm, like a role, an iconic role like that? You would take? He gave, no, he gave I, you the answer. I, I would take that. Yeah. I am Over 50. a part like that, but that's, that's different what than saying. what he said. No, what he's yeah. saying is you would be playing Tony Soprano. So all that came along with that prestige. But six but, days a week, but it would all be, night not, scenes. Not all night scenes, but it would be a fucking grind. A fucking, it would be a, eight a year banger. Grind. An eight From year 56 banger. 56 to 64, it would you be are a banger. grind. And then you could, ne- and we'd never have to work again. And like, that would be your closing role on TV. Or you could I never have like, to I feel like I already did that, man. But we, you could do it again. did it with Entourage, man. Right. I've done it before. I've been done it my whole life. So I, I got to tell you something. I'm being serious. It's Dylan, Dylan is at fucking peace, and good for him. I I would I would take the underwear too. I don't care about any of the other well, shit. I, I'll give them to you. you there you go. <laughs> I don't want your whose underwear. underwear do you want? I, I, I'm not, really I haven't taken them off since the Giant King. I, I'm superstitious, so I'll give them to you after the next Giant King. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever heard. In my uh, life. I'm kidding. Dude. Please tell Probably me that you're like, kidding, bro. Kidding. By the way, do you realize how many times he said "I'm That's kidding" since he doesn't like the line? I'm kidding. Protest too much. <laughs> no, no, Kevin's he, looking at me like I'm really doing. Not, uh, bro, those from fucking New York. Did you fly cross country in those fucking skivvies, bro? I saw the game out here, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, at uh, what was what was the place? O'Brien's. O'Brien's. All right, a great I don't even, place. Man. I don't even know where that is. I is, it a, is, is it? Is it? Uh, uh, Santa, in Santa Monica. Is it a known Giants bar? Did you Giants know? Giants bar. You knew it was going to be all Giants. Giants. Right. A sea of blue. It was, it was insane. <laughs> a sea of blue. And it was so loud. It was like being at the stadium. Dylan, you know what? You're a happy fucking guy. And I, I, I'm serious. Uh, you always are. You like what you like. And and, and that's great. I and just want everybody to live peacefully, bro. I would like to do this. If you told me I could make $100 million sitting here bullshitting with you guys, or I could grind away 96 I would, more scripts. I would, I would grind it out. Is that something to... you might be interested in? <laughs> I would grind it out for a Tony Soprano-like role. A career-defining role like that. I would. You're younger. I mean, I would love to do it. Believe me, I'll take one right now. <laughs> Nobody's giving me that money for my underwear. Bef- I've done it before. <laughs> Kylie's a lot I've younger, by the way. You're a lot not younger. Really. It's a big I mean, difference. I, I guess. It's a big I difference. guess. I guess. When you start seeing sixty, yeah, fuck. Yeah, you're, you're, you're playing. Uh, I mean, you're at, playing different characters. I mean, Brian Cranston. I mean, come on, bro. He had. I mean, he's done. Yeah. Well, he went Malcolm in the middle. To, I mean, the guy's all over the place. Yeah. I don't know. I still think you got one But I'm saying, idiot. there's like, some yeah. people who are, there are some people who the acting is so, everything is like, I would give anything. I'd go do a fucking stage. Like Dylan, would you do $100 million to do a, a <laughs> mammoth play for eight years, five nights a week, three Hell hour no. mammoth play? Give I mean, me the underwear, bro. <laughs> By the way, I'm going underwear. Yo, I'm with you on the underwear on that one, bro. <laughs> skivvies. No way. Yeah. Give me I mean, the skivvies. That's, that's crazy. Uh, like, there's some people just the love under that. Roos, Remember that? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying, I, I, would, I would do it in a heartbeat, personally. Right. That's well, I hope somehow the three of us get a hundred million. In the well, next that's what Dylan's so. saying. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but nobody's offered me a hundred million <laughs> to sit in my underwear, <laughs> exactly. especially these ones that I've been wearing since the giant. <laughs> I'm an animal. Listen, I was giving you the made-up scenario, but this was fun, and we'll talk Gary's Desk season four, episode it's eight. Season four, episode eight, uh, Gary's Desk, which is basically an episode that we universally didn't love, <laughs> but we're still. Well, gonna... You texted it to me. Do you remember my? Spots? Dylan wrote ew. What'd you write? Ew. Ew or oh no. Or... <laughs> 